friends, I'm Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette, and I am coming to you live today. Sorry, I've got um, a mess in here. Um, it is a snow day for my kiddos, and so they're home, and the dogs were barking, and you know, all the things. But I am painting a door hanger. Last night, um, in my paid group, we painted this little guy, and today we are going to paint his sister. So go ahead. And if you're just joining, um, we painted this little guy yesterday and I wish I could hang him up. I don't have anywhere to. So we're painting his sister today and she has flowers and glasses just like him. Okay. So you can find this blank and template and everything on my website and also on Etsy. Um, I sell the blanks and I sell the template so you can cut your own and paint with me. All right, so I've only got an hour, so I'm gonna jump on and get started. What I'm gonna do, this, I did the boy last night and he ended up taking a little bit over an hour. So I'm gonna get everything, like show you how to do all the things, but then I may have to finish the rest of it, not live. So I'm just gonna grab my paint. Got, I'm gonna get white first, and I'm gonna basically just quickly base coat the entire board with white. So I'm gonna grab my base coating brush. If y'all don't have this kind of brush, friends, it is amazing. <gasps> Robin, hi! Um, so Robin was on last night while I painted the brother, so now she gets to see the sister. All right, I do have my blow dryer here, and I'm gonna probably have to use it so that I can get this all done for y'all. So base coating brush, really quick. Hi, Kathy! So I'm just gonna slap a quick coat of paint on. Now I did this, the brother with a shiplap background. Do y'all think I should do the sister with a shiplap, shiplap background too? <gasps> Thank you for sprinkling. Yes, I would love it if y'all would sprinkle this video. I would appreciate that so much. Just click the S button down there and sprinkle so your friends can get a little bit of Easter spring crafting. No, okay. Um, no, I don't. you don't think I should paint it shiplap? Robin, is that what you were answering? Y'all think I should do just a plain background or should I do like polka dots? I don't wanna take away from her because she's so cute and she's got so much detail. So what do you think I should do for the background? Y'all let me know. And if I don't, if I don't hear anything um, before I have to start the background, I may just paint it plain. Correct, okay. So do you think I should do plain colored or do you think I should do like really light polka dots? Like a, I don't know. I'm gonna do her in brown. So what do you think I should do? Go ahead and tell me. Finish putting my base coat. Now, friends, you don't always have to base coat. Um, I am base coating because I want my I want to be able to use less paint colors. Pale polka dots. Okay, I think so too. Um, pull up her picture and see. I might do maybe like a light green. Only thing is I don't want it to, you know what? I could do light green and then I could do darker green for these, this greenery. I just don't want to take away from that. What do y'all think? Light green, plain color background and add something after if it needs it. That's a good idea, Kathy. I like that. Let's do, let's do that. So I've got three carrots down here. And um, friends, I really like to use minimal, like the minimal number of paint colors I can when I'm painting a door hanger, but I also like to have different shades. So I am a um, big pro pro proponent, is that the right word? For adding white or black or a darker color to whatever color you're using. So for example, with the carrots, I'm gonna start with my orange. 
And I'm just going to paint a couple of them dark orange and then, or maybe one dark orange and the other two I'm gonna add white and then paint it light. That way I don't have to get so many paint colors out and try to make sure that they match and that the two shades look good together. I know they're gonna look good together because I'm just adding white, so I'm not changing the color. Um, what do you call it? Like the underneath colors. All right, so I'm gonna grab pink. I'm gonna let that draw for just a minute while I get a few paint colors out. I'm gonna do pink, I'm gonna do purple. <gasps> Thank you, Kathy. I um, love earrings, so years ago I cut my hair super super short and my hairdresser told me then she goes you're gonna have to start embracing earrings and um so I've kind of embraced earrings ever since I just I didn't want it to look like I didn't want to look like a boy so I'm like this you know so that is kind of my thing I love me some earrings all right I'm gonna get brown let's see I don't think I've got it all right, I'm gonna use burnt umber, and then I'm gonna add a whole lot of white to it. So, got my burnt umber, and if y'all can't see me, but I'm just pouring paint in all these little bitty cups and mixing. So, I'm gonna use, friends, I don't like to mix with my paintbrush tip. I love to mix with the back, because then you don't have so much paint in your brush, and you can get most of it off right back into the paint cup. So I'm just gonna mix until I get a, a light brown that I want. Kinda like that, but I think it needs a little bit more white. And then we will just start putting all the paint on. If y'all are just joining me, I wanted to show you. Um, we painted this last night in our paid group, and so today we're painting his sister. That's what we're, that's what we're working on. And this template and the door hanger are all available on my website and also on Etsy. So you can grab those if you would like to decorate your doors for Easter. Good morning, Jan! And if y'all would, please, please sprinkle the video so that your friends can see it. All right, I'm just gonna start painting this bunny brown. I'm gonna my door hangers are etched, so I have the lines already on them so I can just see right where to paint. Guys, that is so helpful. Can't even tell y'all. It's like a game changer. Game changer. All right, I'm gonna switch to a bigger, a bigger brush so I can get this on faster. All right, so all of the bunny is gonna be this brown. This is just burnt umber mixed with, um, that is just burnt umber mixed with uh, white. And I love the color it created. It's kind of a grayish brown. So, so far in my paint palette or cups, I have done white, pink. I'm gonna use pink on his feet and or his feet, her feet her cheeks, and then some pink on her um, flowers. I've done purple in my cup. I've done orange, probably needs some yellow. And then I've got this brown that I mixed. And I know y'all can't see this entire thing, and I'm so sorry about that. I'll try to move it around. I, um, I moved all of my stuff next door to my paint studio and my Wi-Fi over there does not work. So, Spectrum is coming out tomorrow. It's been like a two month battle, um, but I've got some of my stuff here and some over there. So it just makes it, my setup over there is better than my setup over here. All right. Good morning, Rita and Kelly. We are painting an Easter door hanger. It's a vintage bunny, and I would love it if y'all would sprinkle this video with your friends. Give them some fun crafting ideas. Um, okay, Jan, that is so not your fault. That is mine. Um, and I actually just had a customer message me last night, and she goes, where are you? 
and I'm like, um, I have no internet. So I have been spending eight hours a day. I got a new laser back in, uh, in November, end of November. And I've been learning my laser and creating all kinds of new products. We just came out with a um, DIY home decor box, which is super awesome. It's basically like a box that gets delivered to your door with everything you need to do a craft project. The only things you might need from home, um, I send glue, but it's usually super glue. And sometimes people prefer to use their hot glue gun. Uh, sometimes I use a blow dryer and just to speed things up. Um, and then sometimes you might need like scissors, but nothing that you wouldn't already have in your house. And so I have been cutting our box and I should tell y'all today is the last day to sign up for the February box. Let me show y'all if I can find it. Let me show you what we did, what we did last month. So last month was our very first month and it was just, oh gosh, it was so much fun because the thing is you don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting. So last month we got a reversible sign. Um, let me hold this up and show you. This is what came in the box. So everything to make this, like you didn't need anything else. I used, like I said, I used a blow dryer and some people use their hot glue gun instead of the super glue, but it is so awesome. Um, this month, the sneak peek is up on my website. Friends, when I tell you that you're not gonna wanna miss this, it is gorgeous. Um, it is two components. Um, the cut time, I'll tell you this much, the cut time to do one box is 35 minutes. So I have been cutting like a mad woman. I'm trying to get ahead of this month's box so I can start working on next month's, which I just finished the design for that. Um, and they are so fun. And they're only $35 a month plus shipping. So it's 45 if you need it shipped but you get to be in the private Facebook group. So like you get to see all my paid lives. Um, and then you also get um, access to, we do a, hey Diana, um, we do a, a monthly live where we do a box reveal. So you don't, everybody can open their box at the same time. I don't allow pictures of the actual box to be shown until um, the live. So like if you are waiting, <laughs> yes, that's why I haven't been live. But like if you're waiting for your box, I don't want somebody else to be like, look what I got in my box. So I don't approve those posts. I just, um, I just leave those pending until after we do the reveal. It is so fun. I'm only taking 20 new boxes this month just because the cut time is so long. But I think there's like five slots left. So if somebody wanted to um, get in that, you just click over to my website and click on the, the picture that says DIY home decor box. Diana is a box member and she loves the box. Julie, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate y'all so much. I, um, the Spectrum guy is coming out tomorrow to install my internet over at the studio. And I'm so ready to get back to my Tuesday, Thursday lives. Um, I've just, man, I've taken on a lot, but it's been so fun. And I kind of felt, I'll tell y'all, I kind of felt God nudging me back in October. Yes, so the there's a template on my website, Kathy, for this bunny. There's also one for his brother. They're $5, and they come in all different sizes. So you could do like a wreath. They come in an eight and a half by 11, an ornament size, and then the full door hanger size. And... They are on the website. So you just click on shop digital templates and you'll get there. Okay, I gotta paint faster. Um, but yeah, so I've taken on a lot, but it's been super fun. But I felt God telling me like, there's there's more people than just that wanna paint door hangers. There's some ladies who don't wanna use a jigsaw, which yes, you can order blanks, but they also just want craft projects. And so this box, when I look around my home and I, um, I'm getting ready for like the next season, I don't want to just decorate for Christmas. I don't want to just decorate for fall. I want to have little things that I can put out all year long and kind of swap out. So that's kind of what this box was created for. It was just home decor that 
projects that you could do. Um, have the fun surprise in the group and um, just join us. So y'all can check that out. <laughs> Rita, just craft stuff. Yes, they just want craft stuff. So this next box, there's a lot of painting. Um, there's some Mod Podge involved and I send you the Mod Podge. Um, there's some scrapbook paper involved. There's ribbon. Uh, what else? There's wood, lots of wood, and twine. I mean, there's just so many fun elements. And I love all of the... Stony, hi! Um, I love all of the... All the different textures together. All right. I am just trying to get some of this detail on. And we will add some more color. I think I'm going to do all pink flowers. Pink, pink, and pink. What do y'all think? I think I should do some purple, too. I know. I haven't seen Stonium forever. Where have you been? Y'all, please sprinkle the video with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. And if anyone wants more information on um, the craft box, just just comment below craft box and I will send you the link later on today. Okay, I've got all the paint on the bunny, so I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna set those right there. I'm gonna grab another brush and we are gonna paint the green on the carrots. So I'm just gonna dip straight into the green that I did Debbie, it's your first time. Welcome. I'm glad to have you. So I'm going to dip straight into the green and I'm just going to paint two of these tops, light green. I'm going to do this one and the one, or this color green. I'll go lighter on the other. This, this box, is it wearing... It's wearing glasses, yes. And her brother also wears glasses. So what's really cute is if you have a double door, uh, like double front doors, you can do the boy and the girl. So cute. So I'm just, I'm painting these green tops and then I'm gonna add some white to this green to bring it together. Then we'll switch to the orange and then we'll work on our flowers. Now, I may have to do my outlining. I'll probably jump on a live over on my main page to finish if I don't finish in time. So y'all can go back and watch that later because I know that we've got another presenter coming up. And so I don't want to run into their time. I'm going to go ahead and add this color up here. And friends, I do paint with a trimmer. So if you see me kind of shaking, um, it's worse in the mornings for some reason like mornings and really late nights, I guess. So forgive me. It's just, it's just the way God made me. Uh, I decorated my living room with um, the stuff from the new craft box the other day and I took pictures for after the reveal. And every time I walk in there, I'm like, okay, it's still winter, but I've, I've decorated for spring. <laughs> But I'm not, Debbie, I'm actually not a lefty. I think, yes, um, I think that it's just because my camera is spun around. <laughs> Julie, yeah, uh, let me see. I can't see all the, everything you said. So I'll know who you are and where to follow your business. Okay, so everything should be, should be in the title above, where to find me. I'm on, I've got a website. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Etsy, I'm kind of all over the place, uh, but I am Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette, and I help women find relaxation and joy through crafting, painting, um, wooden crafts, all the things. Like, I'm a big proponent in mental health, and I think that it's so important whenever you are a woman living in today's world that you need a creative outlet. So that's what I do. And you can find me at all the places. Um, and I am painting a door hanger. I have a door hanger membership and then I also have a craft box membership. 
where I send you everything you need to do a, a craft project each month. Um, it shows up at your door. It's uh, $35 plus $10 shipping. So for $45 a month, and last month, we made this reversible sign. And the, what's awesome is you go into a paid group. I don't like this pink, so I'm gonna get a darker pink while I talk to you. Um, but you go into this, this paid group, and we all do the craft live together if you want to. <laughs> I have never crafted with an empty Altoid tin. I, that is an uh, that is a great question, um, but I've never done that. Okay, so I didn't like that pink, so I switched to one that um, has more of like a purpley base to it. That one was a little bit too like neon for me. Just going over. All right, and now I'm gonna do a purple. Need another. But no, I have never done that. I've never done that. <laughs> um. So yeah, if you're interested in either the members, either of the memberships or templates or anything, just let me know what you're interested in and I can go back and put the links because I do have this template as well as the brother um, available in my shop. And then I also have, um, I've got openings. Today's the last day for the box membership where you get a craft project delivered your door. We do a live reveal. Uh, after I get all the boxes shipped, they usually ship around the 25th of the month. So as soon as all the boxes ship and I see when they're going to start getting there, and I, um, I schedule the date and let everyone know in the, in the private group what day and time um, I'll be doing the live reveal. So I kind of, because the postal service, um, the postal service is kind of crazy right now. Uh, I don't like to schedule that reveal until I see kind of when they're going to, most of the boxes will be there. I can't guarantee everyone's box will be there, but I do try to make sure that the majority of the boxes that I shipped are going to get there before the reveal. All right, so I'm just using another pink. Right now, I have, just in case y'all want to know what colors I picked, and I would love it if y'all would sprinkle with your friends. But I am using Carousel Pink. Good morning, Shelly. I'm using Bright Magenta. I used Burnt Umber with a lot of white. I'm using a Bright Yellow, an Olive Green, and what purple is this? It's just called Purple. So those are all the colors that I've used so far. And I'm just adding all these details in. So we're just painting away. And I'm gonna try to finish in the hour, but if I don't, I'll hop over to my main Facebook page. And then that way, um, after the crafting event is done, if you wanted to catch the end, you would be able to click over and, and see it. All right, I need more brushes this morning. Need more brushes. All right, I'm gonna go back into that green and do this leaf that I forgot. So I'm doing all of the leaves that are the regular shapes, not the little rounded like picks. I'm doing all of those in that olive green. Now, if you are, if you're seeing all of the little imperfections, all that's gonna go away when we do the final step, which is tracing our design. Julie, how long have I been painting? Um, four years, four years. Yep, I, I kind of, I fell in love with door hangers um, and I started doing that. And I love kind of all things crafty. I'm gonna do this green. Yep, okay. I'm gonna do aqua for her glasses. And I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and put all that in. So I will use a Posca pen to outline all of this and you won't see where all those lines come together, all that will disappear. So it's kind of the magic of the finishing part. Make all those imperfections disappear. That way you're not going back and forth like, oh, I need more brown. Oh, the, br the brown got on the turquoise. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Jan, are you talking about me? That's really sweet if you are. Yes, Miss Shelly has been in my group for a while. Gosh, forever. Shelly, I love it. Like, you've been around since I started. You were one of, like, the first people to believe in me. I am too. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are so sweet. I've got Diana in my group. Robin's in my group. I've got Shelly. I've got so many good people. And they're also helpful. Like, I think that's what I love the most about the group is everybody's so nice. <laughs> Thank you, love. All right. So, I've got the green on. I'm going to do a lighter. Actually, I want to go dark. Let me grab this color. Look good with this color. I think we can pull it off. All right. I'm going to go darker for the other, like the little ball type shaped, um, I don't know how to say it, these, what are these called? These little like picks. And I'm putting my paint on a little bit thicker than I normally do because my trimmer's worse this morning. Normally I like really smooth, thin coats, but sometimes guys, I just can't help it. Sometimes God has different ideas. So I'm just going to get all these colored in and then I'm going to try to hit it with a blow dryer and do some of the, the outlining so y'all can at least see what um, the finished product is going to look like. And I'll come back later and post a picture if we don't get done. I love doing these craft-a-thon paintings, but I also like I get so nervous about the time. I don't want to go over because that's disrespectful and I am um, but I want y'all to see a finished product so if I net if you ever watch me and I don't finish I will always post a finished picture later all right okay let me show y'all what this looks like so far now it looks a little rough I promise you once we Bring it all together. It's going to look amazing. Okay. Just adding in. I'll see that. This, really, these two door hangers, the boy and the girl, they're, they're really easy to paint. Um, and I love that they, they incorporate so many colors. So, on the boy, we did a bright yellow bow tie. And I just, man, I love, I loved how bold and beautiful it was. So I will make sure I put a picture of the two of them together because I, I, it, it has me wishing I had double doors. At Christmas time, I designed a, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to color this in real quick. Um, at Christmas time, I designed reindeer. I did a boy and a girl. And I put the girl on my door, but all I could think was, man, I really wish I had double doors so I could do like the boy and the girl. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the orange <clears throat> after I put a quick coat. Let me coat her real quick one more time. And I do, for those of you, does the template come in sizes? Yes, the template comes in three sizes. And then I also give you the JPEG so that you can resize it in block poster to any size you need. Uh, because sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I like things around 20 inches. Uh, but then I know some designers like things or some door hanger painters like things that are 24 inches. Uh, I don't design them quite that big when I make them. So I do always give you the JPEG so that you can create whatever size you want. And uh, for anyone that has a laser cutter, it comes with all of your laser files as well. So for some of the designs, what's really fun is you can turn them into like Christmas ornaments or car monogram, you know, like not monograms, I guess, the little things that you hang from your rear view mirror, like ornaments. 
anyway, you, you can do so much fun stuff with them. And so that's why I always give you the JPEG too. Um, I don't give you the colored in images. Those are only like for previews because I've had people message me and they want to just basically take the image and print it on door hangers and sell them. And I'm like, no, I want people to paint and have fun with it and make it their own. So yes, it does come in different sizes. All right, I'm gonna do this carrot dark. Got some paint boogies in there. Let me get those off. Friends, anytime, I've got, <clears throat> sorry, clear my throat. I have this craft paper down. I bought it at Home Depot. Comes in a really big roll. I call it craft paper. I think it's supposed to be for, um, like to put down in a room if you're doing like painting or something. But I have found sticking it underneath my door hangers, I can, I can mark off paint. Oh, uh, yes, of course. You can always um, sell what you painted. Uh, you just can't sell the template, obviously. Um, but yeah, you can sell as many door hangers as you want. You just have to paint them. You can also use them for classes. So if you do in-person uh, or kits or anything like that, you can do those. Uh, you just cannot sell the template. So you can create physical products and let your customers, um, <laughs> let your customers create physical products as much as you want. All right, I just got a whole glob of white. <sighs> well, go get your own. It's like, I think it was like 15 bucks for the roll. Go get some. It's so funny. Jan says her husband won't let her use it. And friends, if y'all are late to the party, I'm Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette, and I help women find time to relax by being creative. So I'm a huge proponent in mental health, and I feel like we have to make that time for ourselves and take the break. And I just started last month a brand new craft box where everything comes to your door and it's $45, and last month we did a reversible project. I'll show it to you. And this month, it actually is like a two-in-one. You get, it's two, pro two full projects. Um, so this is the reversible sign that we did last month. So cute. Um, and the way it works, it's super fun. Uh, we do a reveal. So like after I get all the boxes shipped, they all ship around the 25th of the month. And after all the boxes ship, I set up the um, date and time as soon as I see kind of when they're going to be delivered. And as soon as the majority are going to be delivered, I set up the date and time to go live. And we do a live unboxing and we all get to do our craft together. So if y'all are interested in that um, or the templates or anything that I do, just Met, just comment below what you're interested in and I'll go back through the comments and I can send you links so it's a little bit easier. All right, friends, I am ready to, I have to do her ears a little bit more, but I think I want to do straight white in the middle of her ears. So let me move this down. So um, I'm just kind of following the pattern of the ear and I've got my angled brush, and I'm just gonna color this in white. If my trimmer wasn't so bad, I could be a little bit more precise, but we will just work with what we have. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna come down in here. Uh, another tip I will tell you is I use my brushes this way and that way. So I will kind of, so that I don't have to keep switching brushes, I will just turn my brush. And, in, and especially these angled brushes are really great for being able to do flat painting or get into those crevices. So I'm just painting the inside of her ear. All right, let me show y'all where we're at. We're gonna start, I'm gonna blow dry and we're gonna start highlighting so we can start bringing out some of those details. Get that light pink real quick and do her cheeks. 
How am I on time? Oh, I got 25 minutes. Faith, oh my stars, hi. I have missed you too. And okay, here's the deal. Um, I've had no internet at the studio and you know, I, I got on, um, I got the new laser back in November and friends, there is a big learning curve. Like it's been so fun, but like every day there's something new that I'm learning. And since I'm over there for like six to eight hours a day, I come home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I'm just exhausted. And I don't want to go live. Um, not that I don't want to, I'm just tired. I am a early bird. So I wake up at like 4 a.m. and I am ready for bed by like 8 p.m. I don't know about y'all. All right, I'm gonna hit this with the blow dryer. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't forget. I do. If you're, I was gonna say, I have a few of these left. If anyone's interested, I have a few of those kits I can ship out. They're ready to ship. are the kits um they're 35 plus shipping so it's like 35 plus 10 dollars shipping so they're 45 if you do the monthly craft box you actually get the surprise so um if i have any left i sell them afterwards but if um if you do the craft box every month you get the new whatever the new design is this next month it's actually two it's a two-in-one project and um it's going to be super awesome it's for spring and it will it will take um, it will take you all the way to summer if you want it to. I mean, it is so pretty. I will tell you, it's floral and um, springy and beautiful, and it has a touch of gold to it. And I will tell you that it also is going to involve Mod Podge, paint, uh, wood, twine, ribbon. It's so awesome. Um, the boxes are usually valued like by the time I put all the designs in and all of the paint, like you get all the paint and glue and everything. Um, they're usually valued around 60. So you're getting um, a lot of good stuff. All right, I'm just touching up inside his ears. No, Jan, and it makes me very sad. Makes me very sad. Kathy says she has shaky hands too and she can turn a bird into a tree. Oh my gosh, that cracks me up. Girl, you know what? I I went, I'll tell you all a story. I went live one time and I didn't realize before I jumped on how bad my tremor was that day. Like it was a scheduled live. Um, I, I just, I didn't realize it. And when I started painting, I almost burst into tears because I was so embarrassed because of how much I was shaking. And I realized after that, that there are so many of you that paint with shaky hands that I'm not alone and that by me coming on, um, by me coming on and showing that it can be done, that y'all weren't as afraid to pick up paintbrushes. So sometimes it embarrasses me. Let's see if that's dry. Just using my Posca pen and I'm just outlining where all this etching was so we can bring out all that detail. And yes, please sprinkle. Hi, Carla. But I just realized that like God created us all with imperfections and we can use those imperfections to bless others and to encourage others. And so if I do nothing else, I hope that Yes, it is a curse and a blessing. Yeah, Faith, that's that's so true. Yeah, a lot of times you do. You have to just, okay, you know what? Maybe I can't outline this right now. Maybe I'm going to have to come back to this later, but what can I do right now? Um, and especially when you know you need a creative break, 
but your tremor's kicking or you, you're, you know, you get shaky, like sometimes you just have to find a different avenue to channel that creativity. So like with the craft boxes, you don't need as much precision and detail. Um, and so those are easier when I'm shaky. This is a little bit harder when I'm shaky. But either way, at the end of the day, when I'm done with a creative project, um, I feel so much better. And I, I miss so much, I don't know about y'all, but I miss in-person parties because there would be women that would come in and they're like, oh my gosh, I can never paint that. It's never gonna look like yours. And when they would leave, they would have this adorable door hanger and they would have this smile on their face. And it's the smile you get when like you've conquered that fear and you've done something that you didn't think you could do. And man, I miss that. I am so ready for COVID to be over so I can get back and have my girls in my studio. That is awesome, Carla. That is so awesome. So awesome. Yeah, I am um, one of the tricks that you want to do if you if you are shaky or you know, sometimes it's just a confidence thing. If you're like worried about making a straight line, um don't don't lock your elbow. Because if you lock your elbow, you get a lot more rigid and you can't let your arm flow. And then you end up with I don't know, kind of rigidy, rigidy lines. All right, I want to show y'all how much detail that brings out in the carrots. That's so cute. Yes, I do too. What does it say? <laughs> yes, Julie, I all the time, all the time. It, it's it's like squirrel. But it is what it is. I, Julie says that sometimes, like, during a live, she's like, oh, um, what were we talking about? I do that all the time. And somebody will ask a question, and I know I'm going to forget that they asked if it goes away. So, I'll stop what I'm talking about, and I'll answer it. And then I come back, and I'm like, oh, Carrie, you're a mess. But I hope that my mess blesses someone. That's all I care about. I just want my mess to bring happiness and encouragement to someone else. I love the details. That's terrible. Ble Kathy says, bless this mess. Yes. Uh, my son and I ran to Hobby Lobby the other day to get something. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't know why I painted those green. Um, and I saw this cup, it was a coffee mug, that said, Hot Mess Express. I couldn't walk away from it. <laughs> Julie, that's during my whole life, too. That's my whole life, too. Uh, I was sitting with a group of girls one time, um, when I lived in Chattanooga, before I moved here and started my paint business, uh, I had this group of girlfriends who every Thursday we got together to have coffee. And I was literally sitting, sitting at my dining room table, talking to them one morning. And I, I looked up and there was a squirrel behind one of them, like on the back porch. And I go, squirrel. And they were like, Kara, that is so you. Like, that's your whole life. So, I get it. It's okay, though. Faith, do you do that during lives, too? It's so hard to keep track. Okay, look how cute. We're still working on her. I got 15 minutes to make her beautiful. Bless you, Rudd. I 
kids are home from school today because we had a snow day. This is our third one this week. Friends, let me just tell you, working from home, um, having virtual learning, all using the same computers, gets rough. All right, you never want to use your Posca pen on wet paint, so that's why I'm kind of skipping some areas. I'm only painting where it's dry because you'll ruin the tip of your Posca. And if you're like, what the heck is a Posca? Check them out. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Oh, Shelly. Good. That's a good call. So I have a virtual paint party membership where we paint one door hanger design a month. You get that template or um, you can get the blank shipped to you. Um, you can pick whichever level you want. And my members get 20% off all kits. So all of my, like, I have a tiered tray kit. I have um, a Simply Blessed reversible sign kit. Like all the kits that I offer. Um, you get 20% off those, but you get 50% off all digital templates all the time. So all of your templates are $2.50. And what's also cool in the membership is after you've been a member for three months, or if you buy the annual membership, you um, get access to all the old stuff, not the templates. You have to buy those for $2.50 with your discount, but you get access to all of the old videos so like you could literally go back for the last three years and you could watch all the video tutorials and you could paint three years worth of door hangers for $2.50 a piece by being a member. It's super awesome. At least I think that part's awesome. <laughs> Shelly says she's heading over there today. Our Joann's does not carry Posca pens. I have them in my Amazon shop if anyone is looking for them. There's a link on my website. But yeah, so like I just released five of these. I did the the boy and then I did um, some other ones. And I had a lot of members that wanted to like make them all. And so they were able to purchase all of the new templates. And I think their total was like $10, $10 because they got one of them. And then the other one, um, the other ones were only $2.50 each. So yeah, the discount is great. That was, um, I don't do sales on my templates very often normally um and those are just reserved for members so I did a Black Friday sale this year and that's the first time I have discounted my shop ever ever so the only other discounts um that I ever give for my templates um and they're five dollars each I know some of them are like seven or six ninety nine or eight. Mine are all five dollars each. But you, um, I do one a month, and I need to put one up this month. I don't think I have one, but I pick one older template per month, and I discount it by fifty percent. And that one is up all month long, so it kind of helps people that are either just getting started or they don't know for sure they're going to be able to you know, do it and they want to try a template, it just makes it easier. Then I have some template collectors who they always buy the um, discounted template in case they want it later. Yes, the online makes a huge difference. And I will tell y'all, if I was not on a time crunch, there are some, like some of this paint, I would have gone back and done a second coat so what I'm actually going to do is, um, but I wanted to show you what it was going to look like color-wise um, with all these fun colors. So, but I want, I, I'm going to actually go back after I jump off and I'll just kind of touch up the, um, I'll touch up the places that needed a little bit darker paint. But yeah, look at the difference in eyes. Can y'all see that? Like what a difference that makes? <clears throat> yeah, makes a huge difference. Just adding that black outline. Love her. All right, I'm going to do the nose. Okay. 
And I'm gonna put, I've got the, the foot. I'm gonna take a small paintbrush and I'm just gonna kind of dab. Thank y'all for sprinkling. All right, I'm just gonna kind of dab a little bit of light pink down here on her feet and let that start drying because I forgot about her little, her little feet down here. All her little pads of her toes. I need a different brush. That's what's wrong. Let me get a round one. Can't paint with that. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, she does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, Kathy, I'm starting to think that once I put the outline on there, like go all the way around, I don't think. Oh, right here. Okay. Yes, thank you. I don't think I'm going to do a background. Let's see, right here. Thank you. Sometimes I can't see it all. Need y'all to point it out. All right. Added that in. Throw that in there. Then let me do. <laughs> and eyelashes. And cheeks. And face. All right. Let me do her face shape. That part I didn't want to mess up, okay? Like, sometimes just the shape of her face, like making that chin, um, can make a big difference. And when I was drawing these out, I told the group last night, I probably drew six mouths in like the nose area before I found one that I was happy with. Okay, so I still need right here. It's a little bit of black. I can't outline. Oh yeah, I can. All right. Let me do the ear, the inside of the ear. And then we're going to do the outside. I've got seven minutes, guys. I did really good. We'll almost get her done. All right. So I'm just going right along my edge. Messed up just a little bit at the bottom. Yes, Shelly, these lines are all etched into the wood. So if you order the blank, it comes with the lines. So you don't have to worry about trying to trace them. And if you do that, if you order the template, you can also use graphite paper to um, put your lines on. So yeah, all my templates, my newer templates, I have a few older templates that don't have the lines, but I'm working on converting those all over. My friends, this outline on the outside, it's not perfect, but I wanna show you what big of, how big of a difference it makes. Y'all see that? And she's so cute. Doing amazing, thank you. So, the last thing that I'm going to do before I jump off, I will do a little bit of touch-up later, but I'm going to do some highlights. So, I'm going to get a really small brush. My white Posca pen is not working, so I'm going to get some fresh white paint in a new little cup. And I'm just going to do a few highlights. So, I want to make sure my brush is really... Like, you want those bristles to all be close together and kind of, um, how do you call it? Stiff. That's what I was looking for. When you start doing the highlights. And I'm just going to kind of randomly add squiggles and lines just to add a little bit of dimension. 
Can y'all see that? So yes, please sprinkle with your friends. If anyone is interested in joining me in the virtual paint party where we paint door hangers every month or the craft box, please comment below whatever you're interested in, templates, whatever it is, and I can send you the direct link. That way you're not searching for it. And I do have, yes, I am gonna outline the toes, but my um, pink is still wet. So I'll go back and do that in just a minute because I had forgotten to paint pink. So yeah, I will outline the toes. But look how fun that makes it. I just wanna show y'all so far. Look at the difference, this side and that side. Y'all see the carrots? It just adds so much dimension. I'm gonna do a little bit on the flowers. And I'm kinda all, I'm trying to shade the flowers just on the left side. Found a couple places where I missed outlining. That's one of the fun things too about going back and highlighting is you, you can see the, um, you can see if you missed anything. Because when you're, when you're outlining, you get a lot closer. But see how much of a difference adding that little bit of shadow or um, outlining highlights does. So our virtual paint party membership is currently closed. But I've had a lot of people in the last couple weeks, because I hadn't planned on opening anytime soon. Um, and especially a lot of the new box members have said, but I want to be a part of both. So, would y'all like it if I did a, like, 72-hour open this weekend where you could sign up for the virtual paint party or the box? I could also extend the box through tomorrow. The deadline was today, but if y'all were interested, I could extend it till tomorrow. Um, I just have to make sure I have enough time to cut everything. But, yeah, if y'all are interested in either of the memberships let me know all right so i'm gonna go ahead i've got i've got two minutes so um i will jump off in just a second but the first thing i'm gonna do is highlight and outline these toes so maybe y'all can see it finished let me do it real fast Whee! And yes, please sprinkle the video. I would love it if you would sprinkle it with your friends. Give them a fun craft project to do for the weekend. And let's see, a couple places up here I missed. A hand in wet paint. I know I missed somewhere else where, oh, there it was. And I think we're good. Okay, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Okay. The paint party membership for the digital is 27 a month and for the mailed sign it's 49 a month and then the box membership is 35 plus $10 shipping. So 45 if you need it shipped. Ah! I hope that y'all love this. Um, but I wanted to show you, I'm gonna add a little bit of color to her just because um, I only had an hour so I didn't get to double coat some of the colors and I want them to be a little bit more vibrant. Um, so this is the other, this is the boy. We did this in our private group last night. If you're interested in the virtual paint party membership or the box where we do a craft where everything is delivered right to your door every month, um, just met, just comment below craft box, virtual paint party, templates, blanks, and I can get you the right link. So this was the bunny we did last night. And so today um, I painted this live and I'm gonna kind of finish her up because she's not exactly the way I want her. So I thought I would just jump on and talk to y'all while I did that. How is everyone doing? It has been a hot minute since I have been on. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you what all's been going on. Ah! Did y'all see that? Water just came out of my paintbrush. So back in... Oh, yay, thank you, Megan. <laughs> so back in um, November... Well, let me back up. Back in October, I felt this God nudge that um, I needed my business to go in a little bit different direction. I wanted to still do door hangers, but crafting and painting and hot glue 
and fabric. Like those are all my, they light me up inside. So I know so many women who maybe you don't want to use a, a jigsaw and cut your door hanger, or maybe door hangers aren't your thing, but you still want to be creative and paint and do all of that. And so when I bought my laser back in November, um, I decided to start doing, good morning, Christy. Um, I started doing the DIY craft boxes. And there's so many people right now who are trapped at home especially like my grandmother and people who just are immune sensitive, more immune sensitive, uh, let me put it that way. And so they can't get out and get all the things that they need to make a craft. And so I thought, you know, it'd be really great if everything came to your door. So last month was the first month we did it. And um, I opened 20 slots for this month. And friends, this month's box is amazing. Um, I've been cutting now for a week. I'm trying to get ahead, but each box on my laser takes 35 minutes to cut. And I've gotten, I think last night I had 33 cut. Um, and I've got 60 uh, members already that I'm cutting for. So I'm only taking, um, I'm only taking reservations for that, for the new box through I'm going to extend it to Sunday just because um, I've been so busy this week. I hadn't been live and I hadn't really told everybody that it was open. So I'm going to extend it through Sunday. There is, there's two projects in the box. They go together, but you don't have to use them together if you don't want to. But I'm going to tell you there's Mod Podge, there's scrapbook paper, there's wood, there's paint. You will need scissors for this box. Um, you will need scissors, but other than that, um, and maybe have your blow dryer handy so you can, you know, um, blow dry your paint. Other than that, everything's in the box. So this month's box is going to have ribbon. It's going to have twine. It's going to have gold in it. Not like real gold, um, but we are going to be working with some metallics, which I'm super excited about. And if anybody wants the last month's box, I do have a few of those ready to ship out. They are 35 plus shipping, so they're 45. Um, but it comes with everything you need to make this reversible little home decor sign. So there's, um, I will tell you that membership is a little bit different than my door hanger membership, just because this is more interior decor. Now, there might be some projects every now and then that we do that are suitable for your front door. You just need to maybe get some spray and paint them. But um, the first two projects for sure, uh, the, especially the one coming up, is interior. And it is so stinking cute. I actually was taking the, um, we don't show you what's in the box ahead of time. We show you sneak peeks. But I was taking the, after the reveal pictures for after the box is revealed and I decorated my living room the other day and it is so cute. I keep walking in there thinking there's snow on the ground, but my living room is decorated for spring. So I'm just adding a little bit of making this paint a little bit darker just because I only had an hour and I didn't get as much paint on here as I wanted to. So I'm just going to kind of touch it up a little bit. I wanted my colors to be slightly more vibrant. How is everybody doing? Y'all make sure you sprinkle the video and if you're interested in the box or the virtual paint party or the um, templates or anything, let me know and I can get you those links. And I'm gonna do some more pink on the feet. I was sitting here while we were talking and um, cleaning all my brushes because like they were all dirty. I painted um, that little boy last night and he turned out so stinking cute. But I didn't wash all my brushes before I went to bed last night. I completely forgot because that's just tends to be the way I am. All right, I want y'all to see something. Ah, first time. Yes. Okay, look, do you see on, his, on her belly? Oh, it's kind of hard to see with the light. But when you brush the paint on, it looks so much lighter and then it dries so much darker. So when you're mixing your colors, always remember that. 
that it's gonna be darker than what it looks like when you mix it. And, oh, you said you caught my live earlier in the craft group. Well, thank you for joining me again. I'm just kind of finishing up. Didn't get quite enough coats on a couple of these colors. And I just wanted to touch it up. You know, all the little things that you do at the end, I didn't have time to do live. So I just jumped over here to do that. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Wilma. Good morning, Crystal. All our friends in the house this morning. My kids have a snow day today. So they are home. They are gonna jump in here in a few minutes when I'm done and do their remote learning. We're kind of doing everything in reverse today because mama had stuff to do this morning and needed the room where the computer is. And I don't know about y'all, but I like my kids to be like at a certain spot with their computer. I don't, I don't want, like, you know, them in other rooms with doors closed and you know, all the things. Hi, it's Dana. It's so good to see you. I am finishing up the girl bunny. We painted the brother last night. He's our members, which you are. He's our members um, painting for the month. Um, raise your hand if you didn't see him and I'll show you him. And please sprinkle, yes, please sprinkle. I would love to share some creativity with all of our friends and give those, oh, man, all of us that are stuck in the house, just going out of our minds, like this creative break is so amazing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, so if you did not see the boy, say boy, like comment boy, and I will put him back up. I'll show him to you. He turned out so cute. He has like, he's all nerdy with his glasses and he's got a fun bow tie. He's so fun. All right, so I'm just, if, if you just joined me, this is what I painted live this morning and I'm just going back and touching him up. Dana, you didn't see him. Okay, he's in the private group so you can go watch his video. But look how cute he turned out. He's so cute. And I did a shiplap background on him. I didn't etch the shiplap um, just because I didn't know if everybody wanted the shiplap background. So you missed the live. So after this video, if you'll just click on my Facebook page and you'll look at videos or the post, it should be there. And you can go join that crafting group. It's a three day craftathon that I was a part of this morning. And they are gonna have some amazing presenters. So y'all make sure to check them out. There's nothing better than, in my opinion, um, supporting small business, especially during this time. Like small business is struggling right now, friends. So every time y'all click the share button and the like button and the and all the things, um, every time you do that, it helps us so much. So, so, so much. Thank you, Susan. I've missed you. Where have you been? I feel like you haven't been um, around much lately. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me that hasn't been around much lately. I've been stuck over next door cutting wood and tomorrow they're supposed to come and finally get my internet working. So I'm super excited. It will be so nice to be able to go live from over there. My setup over there is so much better. I've got everything I need, but I'm glad that um, I could jump on live over here today. And some of you haven't joined me since I started using this craft paper. I love it because I can mix colors on it and I can wipe my paintbrushes off. Like it's amazing. Um, and I bought it at Home Depot. I want to say it was in a painting section. Like you could put it down for if you're painting a room or something and you wanted to instead of a drop cloth, but it comes in a huge roll and it was like, I want to say less than 20 bucks for this huge roll. And you could basically cover tables with it, but I just cut pe big pieces and put them down. And that way I can, um, I can even practice paint techniques on there if I wanted to. All right, I'm just touching up, just touching up. I couldn't leave it. What to me felt a little bit unfinished. Um, so I just wanted to touch him up, touch her up a little bit. I might have to go back with my Posca pen 
some of these places where I touched her up and trace over those lines. But I just wanted her to be beautiful, beautiful today. What's everybody doing? What's everybody doing? What's everybody doing? Um, I need to go, our roads are like slippery, but I need to go up to Columbus and get wood. And I'm trying to talk my kids into a road trip, but they ain't, they'd rather stay home. I told them we could even have Chick-fil-A for lunch. Like, uh-oh, did y'all hear that? How in the world do you pass up Chick-fil-A for lunch? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. I think that's all of that. You were crocheting. That's super fun. I never learned how to do that. My mom knows how, but that is not a skill I ever acquired. All right. So I'm going to grab my Posca pen and I'm just going to kind of touch up some of these areas where I kind of rushed through and didn't get it exactly the way I wanted it. Bold up a few of these lines. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all join that group because um, you will be blessed beyond belief. Like, there are so many amazing crafters out there. My friend Robin is going to be presenting. I think she said Sunday. You'll just learn so much. You can get so many fun ideas. Let's see. So, I wanted to make sure that y'all had that link. So, I did put it on the page earlier. And friends, if you don't have Posca pens, check my Amazon store. These are amazing. They are amazing. Okay, there was something. Oh, there it is. I just want her to be perfect. Do y'all have plans this weekend? Look at her. All right. I am holding her up. So I can see, it's kind of like when you step back away from your painting and you see, I can see all the imperfections and then I can jump on and fix them. Anybody else do that? Just helps me get a different view. All right. So I think I'm gonna add some, um, a little bit more purple, but I think I'm gonna put some white in my purple. I want a really small brush. Where did I put, there's a really small brush. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've got my purple over here in my cup. I'm gonna dip in my white in my purple, and I'm gonna mix a little bit right here until I get it the color I want. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do just some, can you all see that? Y'all can't see that. I'm just doing some like swirls on my flowers. You see, just a little bit of extra color and I'm gonna do that for the pink. I'm gonna do light pink on the dark and dark pink on the light. So I've got my dark pink, grab some white. Same thing, I'm just adding a little bit of color. And now I'm gonna do the light. Where is that light? I think this was the light pink. So then I'm gonna get some of this. I love having that paper though. All right, there, I just added a little bit, just a tiny bit, tiny bit of texture to my flowers. Okay, and then I wanna show you too, oh, over here, by adding these little bitty accents, it gives dimension to all of that greenery. I'm going to do a little bit more on my ears because um, the white is just not all the way showing up. So I'm going to go in there and add a little bit. Make it a little bit darker. Okay. 
Is it really cold where y'all are? It's really cold here. We had not had our driveway bladed um, this week because we I like the snow. But this morning, we were like skating on a sheet of ice. So I, I called um, the long guy and I'm like, can you come by and drop some salt? So he came by and dropped some salt so I could get out of the driveway today. We have a hill that goes down and up. Kim, you just you just got a notification. Well, I've been live for a little while, but that's okay. I'll post the replay. But yeah, we have this hill that goes down and up, and I did not want to go like sliding down that hill <laughs> in my car. Anybody else? Oh, so I painted most of this live in the crafters group this morning. But I'm just touching up because I only had an hour. And sometimes these signs can take a little bit longer. So I'm just kind of going back and I am going to, I'm just kind of touching it up. All right, see, let's go this way. There we go. Can y'all see that? Okay, wait, a 17 minute delay. Who, who has a 17 minute delay? Oh yeah, that is crazy. Oh, that's it. I've been live for 17 minutes and they're just now showing you. That is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do something. It might, it might totally ruin it um, cause you know, that's how I roll, but I want to add a little bit lighter color, like her belly. And if it looks bad, friends, the only thing I'm going to do is I'll let it dry and I'll paint over it. So it's all about just trying new things, getting creative, making mistakes. So I am just going to add a little bit to her belly and I want it to kind of look rough, like not all smooth and perfect. But I do want it rounded at the bottom, or at least an oval. Draw that in, see how that looks. All right, and y'all can tell me yay or nay. And if you say nay, I'll just paint right over it. But I do like the idea of a little bit of dimension on her belly. All right, what do y'all think? Yay or nay? Do we like it with a highlight after it dries? Um, in Texas, we may get snow again next week. This week was so nice. Okay, so y'all like y'all like the inside on her belly? Okay, should I do that? Should I do that to the boy I painted last night? He's really cute, but that might look cute too. So I'm gonna get a little bit more white and I'm just gonna kind of work a little bit of white in over here. So there's a little bit of like a natural highlight to it. All right, let me smooth that out. Okay, what do we think about this? What do we think about that? Let me hold it back. Is that too, is that too much of a highlight? Do I need to go back and add a little bit more of the darker? In there, maybe. Let me fade it just a little bit. There, what do we think about that? Do we like that? I think we might like that. Okay, now I feel like I need to add something to the boy. So let's do that. Let's add, let's change his little belly. Find somewhere to put this painting. They're huge. All right, so here is my boy. And y'all missed him. Oh, you want me to go back? Bonnie, Bonnie says, perfect. Did you like that? Okay, I think I'm gonna add a tummy to the boy. Friends, I'm getting to play today and it's amazing. Where is my gray? There's my gray. All right, so this is the gray I used on him last night. So I'm gonna use that same gray, but I'm gonna add white to it but we'll kind of do it gradually like I did with the brown. So I'm gonna grab, his belly's not quite as big as hers. So I'm gonna grab um, the gray and a little clump of white. Ooh, there's some pink in there, that's okay. And then we'll just do a quick highlight on his belly. This is gonna dry darker, so I think I need more white. Y'all see that? 
I'm just gonna do subtle and just keep making it a little bit lighter as we go. Just putting a little bit more white paint and working that into the gray that I already put down there. All right, let me add some more. Y'all like that? Okay, so we like the we like the little bit of white on the belly. All right, let me get that line a little bit smoother. Remember to get our our um our more crisp lines, we load our brush and go slow. So I gotta load my brush back up, go slow around that curve. I can bring that back in. Okay, I need to touch up the black, but what do we think about having a little bit of color on his belly? In, what does Alicia say? In, 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 I don't know. All right, let's we'll see about that. We like that? <laughs> Trisha. I love that you say that. It is not easy. And here's here's what's so fun. So four years ago, I'll tell you all a story. Four years ago, I had a friend, Allison Tunnel. She is in Ringgold, Georgia. She owns a paint studio. And she's um I did I used to do graphic design. And she had me design her logo and then make some stuff for her, like some signs for her door and things like that for her shop. And so she paid me in blank wood. Well, I had never painted before, like never painted before, but I had always like seen all these signs and wanted to. And she did in-person paint parties. Well, I couldn't go to any of the in-person paint parties because at the time I had little kids and my husband was always working out of state. So what she did when she paid me a blank wood, I'm like, but Allison, I don't know how to paint. So she would let me come into the studio while she was working during the day, not during party time. And she would let me paint. And she would kind of, you know, as she's walking by, she's like, oh, switch brushes or, you know, do this or whatever. And so she kind of taught me how to do the door hangers um, and got me like hooked on them. So we ended up um, not very long after that. I'm gonna hold these up and show y'all so you can see them together. But not very long after that, we ended up moving. And I was so bummed because I had found this new hobby. Oh, there's the girl and there's the boy. Um, but I had found this new hobby that I loved and we were moving away from it. And so when we moved here, my the property that we purchased has a barn on it it's about like the main floor is about 1500 square feet and so i turned it into a paint studio and i started having women come in and i started doing the same thing alan did allison did for me like oh switch brushes paint that and um like the what what was amazing is it's not how long you've been painting it's not how great of an artist you are. It's really about getting comfortable, wanting to be creative, grabbing that brush and just making mistakes. Just like when I picked up the paintbrush and I started to change, like put the belly in, guys, it might not have worked. I might have had to wait and let that paint dry and paint over it. But just do it, make mistakes. Like that's how we learn. Um, my husband manages a lot of people. And one of the things he says to me all the time, which I just, I love and I admire so much, is he says he never gets upset with his employees when they make mistakes. And he said the reason is, and he said, you know, if they're, if they're bonehead mistakes, like they knew not to smoke in the bathroom, that's different. But he said if they're making mistakes because they're trying something new and they're trying to make something better, then let them make mistakes because that's how you get better. And so anyway, that is why I do what I do. Um, if you're interested in painting with me, the virtual paint party, painting door hangers every month, the craft box where you get everything you need delivered to your door to do a new craft project each month. Um, I'm taking registrations for that through Sunday. Um, and then that box closes and you'd have to wait until March to get the next box. Um, but if you're interested in that, I also sell door hanger blanks. Like, let me help you learn a new creative outlet 
that will just bless your life. Like guys, it will bless your life. Like this to me, I can sit down with a paintbrush and like everything goes away. Everything goes away. Last Friday, I took the day off. My best friend came over. We painted ceramics and all I did was paint. I didn't run my laser. I didn't do, it was so therapeutic. And we were supposed to do that today, but I had to work. So anyway, this guys, seriously, pick up a paintbrush. If you've never done it before, let me challenge you to just try. Even if all you do, you can go download a coloring page and trace it onto a blank piece of wood or a canvas and pick up a paintbrush and just feel it. Like let all that stress go with your craft. Grab a hot glue gun, grab some fabric, add a little bit of, you know, add a little bit of texture to whatever it is. No, Dana, once you're signed up, it's just like the virtual paint party. Once you're signed up, you're signed up until you cancel or unless your payment fails. So you are good, um, you will get a box. And this next month's box, um, most of the boxes are valued around $60 and they're $45 shipped. So you're getting like double the value. This next box has two projects in it that kind of go together. And um, I'm so excited about them. If you want to see sneak peeks, head over to my website and you can, or look in my Facebook cover image and you can see we've got gold, we've got twine, we've got ribbon, we've got Mod Podge, we've got um, scrapbook paper, we have wood, we have paint. All of that is coming in the next box. So I love all the textures. Um, so I hope you'll join me and just comment below if you're interested in any of the products, memberships, whatever, and I will get you the link so that you can find out more. And please sprinkle with your friends so that they can have a new creative hobby. All right, friends, I'm going to jump off. My kids need the computer and it's in here. So um, I'm going to jump off so they can do their schoolwork. But y'all message me if you have questions. Thank you for joining me. And please sprinkle with your friends. Have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Oh, before I forget, there is a three-day craft-a-thon that I painted the, I, I painted this live in the craft-a-thon. Debbie, I will send you that link in just a minute. Well, give me about 15 minutes. Um, but I painted this live, the majority of it, in the Craftathon page this week or this morning. It's a group. It's free. But there are going to be crafters today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So a three day free crafting event where you can watch all kinds of different techniques. We give you tips and tricks and um, our favorite supplies. We, we tell you all the things um, and we show you different projects. And you can take those projects. Most of us will have like kits or traceables that you can purchase or do. Um, but you can take those projects and you can edit them with what you already have. Think about what you already have at home and take those projects and just go with it. Teresa, you need the link to the box. Is that what you need the link to? Let me know. All right, friends, I'm gonna jump off. I love y'all. Have a fabulous day. Thank y'all for joining me. Bye.